Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinkney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 2500. This particular one is the Bighorn with the Night Edition package and it has the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 and an 8 speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front with the Night Edition you are going to get color match front and rear bumpers, black accents including grille, black headlight LED bezels, you are going to get the color matched grille surround. This one also has LED fog lights, powder coated tow recovery hooks, front facing parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, we have a 20 inch black wheel on some Firestone Transforce ATs and the tire size is a 285-60R20. This also has some splash guards included from the factory. There's your 6.4 liter Hemi badge. And then right here we have your 2500 heavy duty badge. Again, blacked out accents, blacked out cab length running boards. This guy does have the flip out trailer tow mirror with blind spot monitor included. Coming around to the back, more splash guards again, and that 6.4 liter Hemi sounds very throaty. Blacked out LED tail lights with blind spot monitor right here. Parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Four pin and seven pin connector is going to be right there. Your 4x4 badge and your Bighorn badge. Blacked out new Ram logo. And then your backup camera. Right over here, we've got your fuel fill port. Overall, pretty cool looking truck. Uh, I'm actually a pretty big fan of the billet silver color. And the billet silver with the black accents looks very cool. Um, I prefer monochromatic, so I do not like chrome. I prefer everything to be uh, one or two colors, so this looks awesome. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the interior and warm up. So starting off over here on the left hand side, we've got your lock and unlock buttons, window buttons, the driver and passenger windows are automatic up and down. In front of that, we've got your mirror controls. Push the center button and the mirrors are power fold. Coming over to the light setup, we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, ambient light dimmer switch, instrument cluster dimmer switch. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we've got your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a beautiful LCD screen in the middle. Each of the four corners can be customized to monitor whatever parameter you wish. Coming back to the steering wheel, in this big horn, because it has a night edition, it does have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Right here is the control pad for the center LCD display. You also have your hands-free call buttons right there as well that'll come into focus for me over on this side we have your cruise control buttons and then your gear limiter just like on all fca vehicles you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel this vehicle does have push button start up top you have a shallow storage tray and then a 12 volt outlet Coming down, you have an 8.4 inch touchscreen display that is very responsive. Uh, it is very high definition as well. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you can not only control the uh, climate from here, but you can also control the heated seats, which is pretty cool, and heated steering wheel. Under that, we have some physical buttons for the radio. Your physical buttons for the heated seats and steering wheel and then your dual zone climate control is all right here. This being a gas truck, it does have the rotary dial shifter with push button transfer case to the left of the shifter. Right over here we have your integrated trailer brake control, traction control off, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear off, parking sensors for the front off. Under that, you've got two USB ports, two USB-Cs, and an auxiliary jack. Right here we have some smartphone or small tablet storage. 
which brings us to our configurable center console. We have two cup holders, some change storage, as well as a storage tray. There's three positions to this center console. First one we're in. Second one gives us just access to the cup holder with minimal access to the deep storage compartment. And the third one gives us access to just the deep storage compartment. If you look closely down here, we have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Coming back to the leather wrapped armrest, it is tiered, there's two tiers. First one is right here, which gives us access to a USB port. Second one gives us access to a massive storage bin down below. And if you look back on the lid, RAM decided to include some trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversion, as well as some fraction to decimal conversions right over here. If you look closely, you can see the previous generation of RAM trucks on this little storage divider, which is pretty cool. Here are the cloth seats for this truck. Pretty basic. This truck also has two glove boxes. First one is right here, and it is LED lit. Second one is gonna be right down here. Coming up top to the vanity, it is halogen lit for passenger, as well as driver. On the driver's side, you do have a three-door universal garage remote. Up top, you have your halogen dome map lights, your power sliding rear window control, and then in front of that, you have your glasses storage, and then a standard non-dimmable rear view mirror. Let's take a closer look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. So getting in this truck is very easy with the grab handle and the running board. However, I do wanna show you underneath these all season, all weather floor mats, you do have some in-floor storage right here. Pull it up and this little tray is removable. It is on both driver and passenger side. Also, these seats do fold up and then this does fold out giving you a load flat floor because this uh, body style still shares the previous fourth gen uh, cab. So there is a transmission hump with this though on both sides it does create a load flat floor and you can also put some stuff underneath there as well which is actually pretty cool two cup holders in the floor and these seats fold down very easily getting up and in again is very easy with the driver's seat situated where it would be if i was driving i have maybe four inches of leg room before my knees hit the front seat i am 511 for reference you get some storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with a cutout for a large tablet. Some storage right there, as well as two USBs, two USB-Cs, and another 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Up top, you do have some speaker grills for the Alpine Audio Group. Halogen dome map lights. Hanger hooks on the back side of the cab. Right here we have a pull down center armrest slash cup holder. Pretty basic back here and actually a, a decent amount of leg room for sharing the same cab as the previous generation. Let's take a quick look at the back. So to release the tailgate on this vehicle you have to actually come up to it, push the button and it will automatically come down for you. It is assisted which is nice. This guy does have the spray and bed liner from the factory, as well as four tie down points, one in each corner, as well as these little tie down points right here for a total of eight. You get two on each side. As you can see, this also has the LED bed lighting group, which is always appreciated in a low light situation. You put the tailgate back up, just slam it home, and you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So I don't know how well it's gonna come through because of the tint and the light washout, but we've got a 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $45,250. Your standard equipment's gonna be all right here until you get to the optional equipment, which is right there. Optional equipment still continued. The total vehicle price is $58,390. And because this is a heavy duty truck, it is not applicable to the fuel economy estimates. I'd like to give Pinkney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. 
If you're interested in the, the 2021 series of Ram trucks, 15, 25, 35, or 4500, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Uh, they do have a couple of 6.4 Hemis on the lot right now and a couple of 6.7 Cummins diesels on the lot. In the comment section below, tell me what engine option you would choose and why. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.